Hi guys. All right, I'm gonna get to uh, Scorpio right now. Let's do Scorpio. I always do Scorpio and Cancer last. I don't know why. This is a general reading for the status of Scorpio, January 2019. I'm sorry I'm late, but I'm in the middle of a lot of things, including moving. So, just bear with me here, Scorpio. This could resonate with you if this is anywhere in your chart. All right. This is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. Also, the energies are uh, interchangeable in these type of readings. So it could be what you're feeling, what the other person's feeling, or vice versa. All right. If you would like a personal reading, contact me at queenofswords853 at gmail.com. Uh, you can also leave tips and donations. I have a link below for that on my YouTube. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your subscriptions. Let's get down to business. Scorpio. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles, Scorpio. As the future energy and overall energy of this reading. <clears throat> In the past, you might have been dealing with an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You or this person were looking uh, within, were actually dealing with some type of situation that involved deception. Because this is the Seven of Swords. Uh, this is the Thief card. Maybe somebody was trying to get away with something or you were trying to get away with something. Um... Maybe they were lying to you or you were lying to them. It's a lot of sneaky energy here, Scorpio. Next energy is the Knight of Swords. You're this person could have had some type of uh, rough communication in the past, but somebody's definitely rushing in here. Uh, either you towards this person or you're, you this person towards you. Uh, air energy once again. The reason why or another past energy is the Page of Wands. There's some uh, passion here. And somebody's going to receive a message because the pages are the messengers in the tarot. Uh, this message is a passionate message in nature. This person can be younger than you or you could be younger than them. There's definitely an age difference here. Present energy, we have the three of pentacles. So you or this person are seeing the situation as something that you want to work towards. Uh, you want to put some effort into it. Um, could also indicate... Uh, in the Rider Waite uh, Tarot, which is the original tarot, um, this card uh, demotes two people baptizing their child. So there could be children involved in here, or you feel like you want to put some effort into the situation, or the person does. Could also be uh, focused on your money at this time, or the person you're dealing with. All right, Scorpio, in the middle of the, the spread, you have the Emperor in the upright. Uh, this is an Aries individual. This is the Aries card. This is a person older than you. Uh, businessman, entrepreneur, in control. Could be a little bit rough around the edges, but they are the emperor. They're the king of all kings in the tarot. Uh, so you are looking at this person as this, or they're looking at you in this way at this time, Scorpio. Then you have the judgment in the reverse. So you're this person at this time are not feeling like they want to resurrect anything from the dead. So something is not um, being resurrected here or a decision has not been made yet about this situation. Major Arcana card. Future energy. Now we have the sun in the upright. Could be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo on their chart. Sun is the best card in the tarot. So there's going to be some... Um, truth revealed uh some anything that has come to the has been done in the dark will become to the light you know what i mean that's the type of energy that the sun brings the sun brings a lot of good luck good things happening for you scorpio here in the future then we have the ten of swords in the upright you could have been dealing with a, another with an air sign like i said and they could have caused you some pain in the past or you could have caused them some pain in the past however this situation is now over and it's time to either move on or start a cycle over. Uh, could be a lot of drinking involved in this situation. Uh, could also be dealing with a Sagittarius. The situation is calling you to, for you to have patience at this time. And just enjoy the ride and go with the flow. Okay, Scorpio, don't try to jump the gun right now. Let's just take it easy at this time. 
All right. I know you might have been heard in the past with this Ten of Swords, but Temperance in the upright with the sun behind her. You know, let's let's take it easy. Let's not drink that much. Let's not try to cover our emotions at this time. Sagittarius. It's a Sagittarius energy. So it could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. I wanted to just say Sagittarius too, so it just came out. Um just try to take it easy. Stand in your power here. Alright. Now in the future I see the four of pentacles. So you're this person might be dealing <clears throat> with an earth sign again. It could be earth, uh, earth is Virgo, Taurus, or Virgo. They're holding on to the situation, or you're holding on to the situation. Uh, my advice to you is if you're holding on to something, it's most like it maybe you want to let it go to see what happens. You know, they say if you love something, let it go, see if it comes back to you. That works, actually. Uh, all right, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you, Scorpio. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast, but I have to get these readings done. I'm like super late. Had so much going on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clarify this judgment in the reverse. Why is the judgment in the reverse here? Why is someone not making a choice? Why is somebody not wanting to resurrect something from the dead? The King of Cups. Uh, maybe you're coming on a little bit too strong or the person that you're dealing with is um, holding on to their emotions tightly. Uh, the King of Cups has a lot of love for people. However, he knows how to be emotionally mature. All right. So maybe that's why this person's trying to be emotionally mature. Scorpio, don't rush into anything. That's what they're telling me. Don't rush into anything right now. I want to uh, clarify the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords for Scorpio. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Uh, maybe because somebody's not putting in effort into the situation at this time. Maybe that's making you feel bad or this other person's feeling bad because you're not putting a lot of effort into the situation. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify that one more time. Why is somebody not putting effort into the situation? The Wheel of Fortune. This is just a delay. It's not time yet. So please have patience like the Temperance card says. All right. Uh, I am going to go ahead and clarify the last card. Four Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is Scorpio or the person that they're dealing with holding on to the situation or holding on to their emotions? Page of Pentacles. Just a delay. A delay. All right. There's a delay here. There's no movement here because of somebody's holding on to something. So it could be the person that you're dealing with holding on to their money, holding on to what to somebody else, holding on to their emotions tightly. All right. I'm going to clarify that one more time with the King of Wands. Maybe dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, maybe dealing with a Leo or um, an Aries. Um, maybe this person is very passionate or you're very passionate towards this person. And they don't know how to take it yet. Okay? Because I feel a lot of anxiety in this reading. I feel a lot of impatience. Please be patient. Temperance card. Be patient. All right? Water your seeds here with this third three of... Uh, your pentacles water your seeds uh let them sprout all right take your time take your time with it don't rush in like this not of uh not of swords all right three oracle cards for scorpio for january 2019 for my dear scorpio spend time near water such as a lake river or ocean to recharge your batteries that will also help you with your anxiety and your need to rush into things i feel like there's a lot of anxiety, uh, a lot of things going through your mind at this time, Scorpio. So take some time to recharge. Nature is actually good for that. All right. My card fell, but it was the same card. You already know what card that one was. Two more cards for Scorpio. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions, which is good. Go ahead and uh, go out there and uh, look to see what other possibilities you have you know uh however remember water your seeds so that they sprout okay don't sit there and just look at them go out there and do other things while they sprout because maybe they'll come when you come back they might have already flowered you know what i mean one more love yourself enough to say no to others demand of your time and energy focus on yourself this month all right 
Don't let other people dictate what you, you're doing. All right? Take your time if you have to. All right? That's my advice to you, Scorpio. I will see you next month. Take care.